Peggy 7. At the high level, Lego Universe connects millions of Lego fans together, brings them together to build, play, share together uh, online, and connect them in new ways, and play with Lego in a new way. What that really means is you can get in there, you can create your own minifigure, you adventure with that character, you get to play through this whole big epic backstory that we've got going on. You go on missions with other players, you trade with other players, and you collect stuff. And whatever you have collected from models and bricks, you go to your own little planet chunk, and you built maybe your own little castle, if that's what you want to build. Bring your worlds to life, right? That was with the idea. You're going to come in here and you're going to bring these worlds to life. So how are you going to do that? And we had models and you could build, you know, but you could never make them come to life. And now it's like, oh, now it can do it. Whoa! Oh, castle! An eight-year-old can build a big castle that really looks impressive and has dragons that spits fire and everything, right? He can build that. He might not have the bricks in real life or the skill in real life to actually design that castle, but in Lego Universe, he can bring that all to life. I'm building this really cool thing, and when I show it to you, you're gonna flip out. Not only are you gonna flip out, but then we can play together in that world. I, I have the words escape me. It's, it's too cool. <laughs> There's three different building experience in the game. There is uh, quick build, that's the fastest way of building. Basically, your minifig just built this thing automatically, but still the player really gets the sensation that, hey, I created this awesome thing. The next step on our journey is modular building. So the first example you come across in uh, the spaceship that you start out on is you have to build this escape rocket, and you can put them together very simply, right? There's three sections, you connect one, and you can swap out different parts to try different styles. You're building a rocket no matter what, but your rocket's gonna look different than my rocket will. And so you have a little bit of customization and creativity starting to sneak in here, right? But it's still a very easy experience, very lightweight. You can kind of go in and out of it, no problems, right? And anybody can do it. And then of course we got the more creative experience, which is on your property. And here you can really do whatever you want. All the bricks that you have collected throughout the game, you can put together brick by brick and design exactly what you want. So that's the completely open-ended creative experience. Now you can put models out in that space that you've earned along the way, or you can also build something from scratch, right, which takes us to the next level. So now we're getting into brick by brick building. So now we're actually at the point that's sort of the analog to real life Lego building, right, where we're putting a brick together at a time. Then the final step on that is adding behaviors to your creations. There's a programming language that basically looks like puzzle pieces. And you can plop down all kinds of things, like when I get near something, uh, when I get hit, you know, any of those things. And then you can say, do all these different things, like break apart, or play this animation, or do this sound, or shake around, or turn sideways. There's just so many possibilities. And what I really can't wait to see is what are people gonna do with this really powerful language you know, what kind of games are they gonna make inside of LEGO Universe? And I can't wait to see like which of those come to the top and, and kids are off playing that. I've seen scenarios where people will actually have a jumping puzzle where you can unleash a, a cage that opens up and a dinosaur runs out and starts fighting the other animals that you've set up in your particular environment. And then you can go fight the dinosaur to, you know, defend the animals and stuff. It, it's real fun from the standpoint that Players can now make things that other players can play, and just that means the possibilities are literally endless. The quality of the game and the game experience became so, so important about how we really lift this, not just to be a game, but to be more than the game, but to be an authentic play experience of LEGO. And I love Avant Gardens, I love Mount Forest, I love all of these, these other levels. I think they're great because our artists are amazing, but I love the properties because they're empty. They're blank, I can do whatever I want there. I can run around for two hours, smash a bunch of things, complete a bunch of missions, get a bunch of bricks, go to my property and build my own castle. You know, make, make it mine. Think about what's the world you want. You know, if you could have any world, what would yours be? and then apply that when you're in the game so that when you get to the build part, you're ready to go, you've got some cool ideas, and then your friends can come over and you guys can play in your world. It's more than a game, really. It's, it's a new way to play with LEGO into the next century. LEGO Universe is a game that people are gonna want to play. And again, it's a game that's gonna keep growing and growing and growing. 
content, functionality, and it's up to the consumer to build what they want. So a lot of the game is also in their hands to build and create what they imagine what they, they can do. It's just a fantastic game and everybody needs to play.